Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be my update for my Project 50 Pan Roulette. This is update number 8, I believe. I will start with things that I had previously finished and then we will go into what I finished in the last three-ish weeks and um, yeah, and then what I haven't finished. So, previously I had finished the Avon Femme um, perfume, which was, I decanted into this thingy. This is no longer spraying anything. I had finished the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. I, de I uh, decluttered the Rimmel Vinyl Max Lip Gloss in Hypnotic. I finished off the Burt's Bees Pink Grapefruit Lip Balm completely. I finished the Urban Skin Co. Body Balm. I decluttered the W7 Photo Shoot because it started oxidising. I decluttered the Cetaville Suntivity Daily Moisturiser because it is disgusting. I finished off the Neon and Co Hair Treatment Oil, which was kind of like water and not very good anyway. I finished off the Damask Rose by... Um, Harvey Prince. Sorry, complete brain freeze. Um, yep, finished off that fragrance sample. I finished off the Nivea Day Face Cream. The Cure Plex uh, Bond Sustainer. The Organic Care Fig and Papaya. And I hit my goal on the shadow right there in the That's Heart palette from BH Cosmetics. So I think that is everything that I had already used up or hit my goal on. And since then I have hit my goal or decided to de-stash or uh, declutter or finished another four products. So I'm just sitting them back in here first, get them out of my way. Okay, so the first one is one that, not so much decluttering, I'm just taking it out of this project because I, I have not used it in three months, basically, and I really don't like it, and that is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I just don't use it. Um, I'm sure there will come a time when I will use it, but that is not at this point in time. So I'm going to stick this one back in my collection and I will readdress it at a later date. I finished off the Lacura um, Power Serum that I put in last time. I was kind of expecting it to, but it did still take me like nearly two weeks to use it up. Uh, it's only 2 mil, but surprisingly, it goes a really long way. I hit my goal on this hand cream. Um, my goal was basically up here somewhere. Um, it was just underneath, if I want to focus, underneath the word lotion, and I'm all the way down here now. So I'm calling it done on that product. I was planning on just like keeping it in, but... I have a whole bunch of other hand creams and I kind of feel like a change anyway. So I'm going to move that one out. And I hit pan on my blush. Look at that. I actually posted this on my Instagram when I hit pan. It's actually got a bit more pan in it now. It's such a weird location for it to hit pan too. But that means I've reached my goal on that item as well. So that is fabulous. So, on to the things that are still in the project that I have not finished or hit my goal on. First up, we have the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. 
express this, this, mm, I think it's starting to transfer, like I've got some little transfer marks I noticed today, um, which suggests that it's starting to get yucky. Um, if you haven't seen the brush on this, it's just a big fat natural bristle type brush. Nothing exciting or anything. And it's, it's a fine mascara, um, but I think this will probably be the last time round for it. Um, yeah, because it's starting to show signs that it's doing the wrong thing. Uh, the Honolulu bronzer from W7. I think I've only used this like once since I last updated. I have all these other products on the go. So it doesn't really look any different, but there's a sizable dip kind of like right in the center there. So if I pay attention to it, I could probably hit pan by the next update. Um, we have the Essence Eyebrow Stylist. I'm only working on the light side. Um, it actually doesn't look too much different to how it did last time. I will insert a picture. But it pretty much just looks the same. It's probably just a bit thinner here. I kind of like work along here. So, but I like it so I'm not particularly stressed about it at the moment. Just keep working on it. Uh, the Derma E Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask, this one I put in last time. I have actually used it once. <laughs> I actually posted a picture on my Instagram of me with the mask on. I think there's probably one more usage in it. I don't know that there'd be any more than that. Maybe two. So this one might be gone by next time, but then again it might not be. The Eye Teeny from um, Swizzle Stick Eyeliner in Midnight Cowgirl. Um, I can't roll this up because it's like busted. Um, it's very, very slow progress because I really only use this to tight line most of the time because it actually doesn't move once it's in my tight line. Um, so I'll just... I haven't given you a swatch in there, just but um, It's just a <coughs> sort of charcoal-y kind of colour so I can put it in my waterline and it just darkens it up a little bit. Um, make fairly consistent progress on this one. That's it there. So that's where we were when we started and kind of there now. So we're making progress. It's just really really slow progress which is fine. It's still progress. Um, the Starlux Ultra Olive Eyeliner, I have to sharpen this every time I use it. In fact, I sometimes have to sharpen it halfway between using it, so it's actually moving quite rapidly. Um, that's it. Right there. I've actually used it quite a bit more. I've actually worn makeup quite a bit more um, in the last sort of few weeks. So, that is where we were, if it would focus, that is where we were when we started, and we are down there. That's where we were last update. So that's how much I've used in three weeks. Um, yeah, because I literally, it's really, really soft, and a lot of the time I just use it underneath my eye, but sometimes I like put it a bit on the eyelid. It just goes so fast because you like you have to keep on sharpening it all the time because it's really really soft. So it's moving quite rapidly. Um, the MAC Vegas Vault Lipstick. Um, I'm wearing it today. It is, that is what it looks like. This is another one which is slow progress, even though I wear it fairly regularly. Um, so, uh, 
that middle line is where we were last time and we're about there now. It's just, yeah, just not moving very fast. I also don't tend to reapply my lipstick a lot, which is probably not helping the situation. The W7 pink lipstick that I put in last time. Looks like that. Um, this is again a quite a soft product, so it. It's, I mean, it's not moving fast. I've only worn it a couple of times, but so when I put it into the project, we were there, and that's where we are now. So we are making progress. It's just you know. I've got lots of lip products in different projects now, so the Australis Mint Condition Lip Gloss. This is supposed to be moisturising. My lips are really dry and cracked, and I've been using this heap, so this is clearly not very moisturising. <laughs> um, but I have been using it, and I've been using it a lot, but this packaging is ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's impossible to work out how much is in there. There's great big air bubbles in it and so I really don't know how much is in here. It just keeps on going and going and going. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer which we put in last time. Well, I thought I was about there. I actually have no idea where I am. I've used this quite a bit. I don't know, it, it doesn't have any gaps showing or anything, so I just keep on using it. <laughs> Oops, dropped it. And the last thing, which was also added in last time, is this Beyond Cozy Nail Polish from Essie. I believe that's where I am about now. I can't remember where I was when I started. I've had to add thinner to this a couple of times already. Um, it is getting really kind of gloopy. I've used it on my toes and normally when I put nail polish on my toes I can wear it for like a couple of weeks and it won't really chip. It just kind of grows out. This has been chipping like really badly on my toes which don't really see any action. So that suggests to me that the the integrity of this particular nail polish is no longer very good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and get some more use out of it, but it's, yeah, it's on its last legs. So I need to draw out four more items. Um, I have currently used or hit my goal or decluttered or whatever. 17 items. So we are, we're getting there. I've got my little container. Stick my hand in there. I've got one and two. And three. Okay, so this one says most used lip product. Okay. Um, <laughs> this one says a face mask. Um, this one says nail care item. Does this keep happening to me? Uh, and this one says highlighter, hip pad. I have like three, three or four different highlighters in projects at the moment. No, oh, that's gonna be fun. Alrighty, I'm gonna go find stuff and then I will be back. going more of a category of lip product and that would be lip balm chapstick and I've got the mint condition lip gloss but it is 
clearly not particularly moisturising. Um, so I want to be able to use this one occasionally. This has never been used. This is the double-ended chapstick hydration lock sun protectant. It's got sunscreen for daytime and then it's got the nighttime one as well. It's a completely <gasps> brand new, never been used. Uh, no idea how much is in there. Um, I'm, I have no idea. And yeah, the other end looks exactly the same. So that is going to be my uh, most used lip product. The face mask one, kind of a gimme one because um, this one is just a sheet face mask. Um, most of my other face masks I already have in other projects. <laughs> so this is one of the only face masks I actually have left. I've managed to get rid of or use quite a few of them. So yeah, this is the Long Vita Light C1 Whitening, Pigment Toning and Moisturising Facial Mask. The hair, nail care item, what I've decided to do, because you know I said I was looking to use a different hand cream for a while, is I have this one from Lacura, and I love this box. Look how cute that box is. I'm tempted just to keep the box just because it's so cute. Because the hand cream itself kind of looks a bit naff. Um, I haven't actually used this. I have no idea what it is like. Um, I don't even know if it's smells like. Mm, it smells nice. So, um, that is going to be my hand care thing. So this is a hundred mils, which is, it's brand new, never been, hence why it's still in its really, really cute box. Um, yeah, so that is the hand care item, because moisturising your hands is part of nail care. And the last one is the highlighter to hit pan. Uh, this is going to be a big ask because um, I don't really have a huge number of highlighters. Um, so I am going to go with my Ingot uh, Multi System Highlighting Powder. This is in 85. It's actually quite um, rosy doesn't really look a whole lot like a highlighter. Um, it's more of a... When you rub all the colours together, it is quite light. It's really hard to see. Um, more kind of like a blush topper than anything else. It doesn't have... It's really funny, when I... Um, when I bought this, when I tested it out, it seemed to have so much more going on than it does now. But it's still pretty. We can't like right that. It's nice. Um, yeah, so that is basically brand new. It's not really been used very much, so heating pan is going to be a struggle. But I will do my best. So that is it for my update on my project 50 pan roulette if you want to see more of myself then click the subscribe button down below don't forget to click the bell so that you get notifications leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i'll see you in my next video see ya